Come on, those of you that are watching around the world, those of you in this room, let's begin to just begin to clap our hands. Let there be a sound release. The sound of God, the sound of victory that shall usher us into 2021. The year of victory. Come on, play on the strings. Over the nation, over the United States. The time has come. Let the host Mikiste take the words that it may stop at Obu Malekwia and the shallo of the sound that has come. Iparto Musni ka vasno parake. Let the lion roar, let the lion roar. Let the lion roar, let the lion roar. Lion of Judah! Spin open the heavens! Over the United States of America!
God is shifting. He's reversing. And he's about to bring us into the moment that he has waited for called the divine heavenly shock and awe. says the Spirit of God to those in this nation who have sat in darkness who have been part of dark deeds where they say in secret who sees us God says listen to the announcement that I speak to you I speak to you those in darkness who you have blood upon your hands and you have touched the children. You have tried to defraud a people and a nation. You, says the Spirit of God, who sits in darkness, you shall see a great light. I speak this so that all who think will crush them because those who sit in darkness their darkness shall see a great light I speak of exposure says the living God therefore you are about to enter into a season now that is my events my time and what I have planned and yet I look and I ask the question and I have waited and watched through your November I waited through November and December and now I look would I find faith but I have among the remnant who have turned my hand and so faith is the assurance of the things that you've hoped for so let me comfort you, says the Lord. Your faith will surely see the things that you have hoped for concerning this nation and its outcome. But I'm not done, says the Lord. It's also, listen closely, those of you in faith. It is the evidence. Listen, there shall be evidence. I am bringing evidence to the light in my great light of exposure. It's the evidence of things not seen, but now it comes to the light in my season of those who have been releasing your faith. This is my time. Let the lion roar, let the lion roar, let the lion roar. says the Lord look closely at my hand look to the corner this corner that corner this corner and the bottom corners what do you see a frame and in each corner there has been Russia there has been China there has been Ukraine and you Iran and you have framed a picture to try to steal, kill, and destroy concerning the United States. And you have cooperated and shaken hands with those in the middle of this picture frame who have been about laundering, trafficking, and an agenda to turn this nation into socialism and communism. But listen to me carefully. What you did not realize 
is while you framed your agenda, you didn't get the picture. I have watched, I have waited, and now I laugh, says the Spirit of God. Because of the great light that now shall shine in the month of January. And it shall be the beginning of a year of great exposure. Did you hear what I said, says the Lord? 2021 shall also be the victory to those that justice demands their accountability. It is time now. In the year 2021, the year of victory. For righteousness and justice to kiss. Therefore, when this takes place, there shall be a sm stench and a smell of death. Strange this seems, says the Lord, to those who do not understand. Because I will release great grace upon those who have stood in this time. I will release great power that nothing will stop my hand of reversal. And then I shall bring great fear. The soil will shake. The winds will blow. Pay attention to the wind at the time of my striking. For this will be the wind of reversal. Winds of change. They will even call it unusual winds. But as this begins to blow, it shall be like it was in the day that I sent the east wind to open the sea, to set a trap for those who thought they could overcome my hand. And yet once again, I will use the wind at the time of my opening. They will gather by the multitudes in the days that are to come, but there shall come announcements and it shall be shocking and it shall bring you in awe. But this is just the beginning. For when the news and the evidence, because of those who have released their faith, they shall see the evidence of things not seen. They are the ones that have brought it to light. Therefore watch the stench of death, for some shall be overcome by fear that demands their verdict and justice of guilt. They will fall upon their own sword. And some shall take their life while others, their life will be framed as though they took their own life, but it shall be the work of those in fear who will seek to silence them. But then they shall scurry and they will scatter the guilty. And in this frame that I spoke to you of, they will frame one another and they will turn this sword upon themselves. And those who lied will now speak truth. They have sought to shame my prophets. I said, touch not my prophets and do them no harm. This has been my saying, says the living God not the words of men. And they have sought to lift the skirts of my prophets to shame them, the media. And those who have listened to lying spirits, who do you think you are? For your skirts shall be lifted and you shall experience the shame of what you have pointed and accused falsely those who have spoken for me and spoken truth. Therefore I bring into this
last time I will be an irritant once again as I was in the days of the Philistines when they touched the glory they touched something sacred and they were filled with pain in their hinder parts listen closely I shall be a positive positive irritant of justice and righteousness that they will not be able to sit they will not be able to run they will not be able to walk they will not be able to to hide because of the pain that I will bring to them of great conviction and fear and accountability says the living God therefore watch the flower I spoke to you early and I said that this would be a time of a great fall I have not changed my mind and this shall have a double meaning as you see the manifestation of what you're about to enter into in a January of justice and a February of fury but a march of celebration therefore listen closely what shall take place at this time no man will receive the glory look to the sign of the flower you say what is this the flower You'll know it when you see it, for it shall mark the new era that I have promised. But there shall be shakings, much political shakings, that I will release the economy, the resources, and overturning of laws. Because this season that I have called you into is a season of great reform, which means change, change for the good. And my goodness is about to pass before this nation. And when my goodness passes before this nation, so shall my judgment fall upon those who refuse to repent. begin to prophesy on the string something is happening come on just pray in the Holy Ghost is breaking I can hear it it's a covering that they seek to hide
darkness has tried to cover this nation. Darkness has tried to invade your house called white. But I say that the White House, as I've said before, shall become even greater the lighthouse. I have not changed my mind. Therefore, it is time now as the darkness tries to invade, it shall be shattered by the light, says the Lord. And I will expose the rats that have been in the cabinet, that have been in the holes, that have been in the courts. And they too shall suffer an embarrassment because of the droppings that they left that is a trail of what they have been a part of. There is coming a time of great embarrassment and shame to those who have refused to repent. Listen to me, those of you that are watching, and those of you in this room. There is coming a reward to those of you that have stood and been mocked, laughed at, lied about, but you stood. And God has drawn a line in the spirit, just like it was in the days of Korah in number 16 where he thought that he could raise up another administration and overthrow Moses. And God said, this shall not stand in the land and neither shall it stand in this land. Therefore, the Lord declared through his servant Moses, who is on the Lord's side? And God is looking as we enter into 2021, who shall believe the Lord? and be established who shall believe the Lord and his prophets and prosper who is on the Lord's side come on lift up your hands and say I'm on the Lord's side 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 I'm on the side that I believe God I'm on the side of truth I'm on the side of righteousness I'm on the side of justice I'm on the side of God come on come on lift up your hands yes yes Yes! 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 I am on the Lord's side. Come on, who's on the Lord's side? I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. I'm on the Lord's side. I'm on the Lord's side. that are rising back up in this house tonight that are going 